Today in Algebra 2, Chapter 3, Section 2, we're going to look at solving linear systems algebraically. Now this is going to be Part 2. Part 1, we solved algebraically using substitution, and today we are going to use to learn, uh, learn to use the elimination method. When we talk about elimination, we're talking about eliminating a variable. Okay, we are, what we are eventually going to do is add the two equations together. And so when we add the two equations together, we want a variable to eliminate. So in this scenario, I'm going to choose to eliminate my y's. And I'm going to choose to do that because they already have opposite signs. This is a positive and this is a negative. Now, I need to look at those two and say, okay, what is the the um, least common multiple of 3 and 9? Well, it's 9. So if I take this first equation and I multiply it by 3, now, I want to multiply it by 3 because that would give me, when I distribute that 3 through that whole equation, it's going to give me a positive 9y. Okay, so let's do that and, and go from there. Okay, we're going to distribute that 3, and so we're going to get a 9x plus 9y equals negative 45. So we took this 3 and we distributed it to every single term in this first equation. Now let's just rewrite the second equation just like it was. 5x minus 9y equals 3. Okay, I want you to see what that does now. If we were going to put these two equations together, add them together, we have our x's lined up and we have 9x plus 5x is 14x. Now, we have positive 9y and negative 9y. So those eliminate, those two things are going to cancel each other out. And that was the whole purpose for multiplying the first equation by 3 was to get our y term, our coefficient of y, to be positive 9 because the coefficient of y in our second equation was negative 9. So those eliminate, and then that equals negative 42. So then when we solve for x by dividing by 14, we get that x equals negative 3. Now remember, we're looking for an ordered pair. Okay, we're looking for an ordered pair as a solution. And so now that we know that x equals negative 3, okay, we, that's the first part. Now to find the second part, we're going to take that x is negative 3 and substitute it back into one, either one of the original equations. So I'm going to come over here and say, okay, 3 times what was x? Negative 3 plus 3y equals negative 15. So that's 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, plus 3y equals negative 15. We'll add 9 to both sides, and we get that 3y equals negative 6. So y is going to equal negative 2. Okay, that means then that our solution is negative 3, negative 2. That is where the two lines would intersect. Let's take a look at a second example. Our first equation, 2x plus 6y equals 17. Our second equation is 2x minus 10y equals 9. In this case, I would choose to eliminate my x's. They are both 2, but we need when we put those together, we need one to be positive and one to be negative. So if we do that, let's leave this first equation the same. 2x plus 6y equals 17. In the second equation, let's take that whole entire equation and multiply it by a negative 1. So that gives us negative 2x and plus 10y equals negative 9. So when that happens, and now we add those together, do you see that our x's will eliminate? Okay, 2x minus 2x. Okay, now we have 6y plus 10y, and we get that is 16y equals 17 minus 9. is 8. Then we divide both sides by 16 and we get y equals 8 over 16 which reduces to 1 half. Okay, so y equals 1 half. Okay, that becomes the y value of our solution. Now we're going to take that and we're going to substitute it back in for y in either of these equations. So we have 2x plus 6 times what is y, which is 1 half, equals 17. So 2x plus 3 equals 17. Okay, we'll subtract 3 from both sides and get that 2x equals 14. Divide by 2 and we get that x equals 7. So 7 1 half is our solution to this system. And we solve that by eliminating. In this case, we specifically eliminated the x's.